everybody. Welcome back to My View on the View, the podcast where I make the view table relatable. So as a fan of Tara Setmayer's, as a fan of ABC's The View, as a vlogger about it as well, I am calling on Meghan McCain to issue a public apology to Tara Setmayer for everything that she tried to do along with her husband, Ben Dominic, over the last four years to try to destroy this woman's career. Now, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm going to do the best I can to explain it to you. And so what I'm going to ask from you is that you're willing to stay with me on the podcast from start to finish before you drop down in the comments. Uh, That way you can understand fully what I'm presenting. Okay, so let's start here. For those of you who don't know, the reason that Tara Setmayer has never been back to The View after one of her iconic appearances in 2018 is because of Meghan McCain. What happened was uh, Tara Setmayer, like a lot of true conservatives like Anna Navarro, they truly believe in putting their country above their party. No matter what happens, they're going to go with what's right. Going with what's right versus just following the crowd Guys, it takes a certain level of emotional intelligence and courage to do. Tara Setmayer, very early on, was one of the Republicans. She was one of those speaking out very early on and calling this thing for what it was. And she would do this when she came to The View. She would speak very passionately and very truthfully, in my view on The View, about where this party was headed if... GOP leaders did not start calling out the um, dishonesty, the misleading uh, information, if they didn't just start calling the president out and start putting their country above their party. Well, Megan didn't like this. I will tell you guys that Megan and her husband bullied Tara Setmay for years. And not only did Megan speak to HR and threaten that she wouldn't be on the show if they brought Tara Setmayer back to the show. But she then and her husband also went on to bully this lady online. They actually tried to poison Tara's reputation uh, with young Republicans. And if you don't know about Tara, Tara's podcast that she has, Tara has a long uh, career and she does a lot of wonderful things. Tara is one of those re- uh, true conservatives. She has the ear and the heart of a lot of young conservatives. Okay. For real, not, not folks who just watch TV. You know, like I've told you guys <clears throat> from all my research, Megan McCain is not taken seriously in the Republican party. Uh, leaders in the party don't listen to a word that Megan says. Because everyone knows, and when I say everyone, I'm speaking of, you know, people in the industry, people who are senators and who are lawmakers, they know that Megan is only in politics because she didn't have anything else to do. As I told you guys a couple of years ago, Megan majored in art history. Okay, Uh, you can't go around saying I've always wanted to do this my entire life. I've always loved politics. I've always wanted to, you know, speak about politics. And then you go to college to be a uh, to and major in art history. That's like me saying I've always wanted to be a dentist since I was a little girl. I've always, always, always. And then I go to college and I study cosmetology. You see, it just doesn't make any sense. You get what I'm saying? And people who are emotionally intelligent know it doesn't make any sense. And we all know what Megan is doing. She's doing what she she couldn't do nothing else. Okay. from what I've always heard, Megan McCain has no true skills. Now, I'm sure she has something, maybe needlework, you know, maybe, you know, scrapbooking. But when it comes to uh, doing what she's doing now, Megan is not good at this. Megan repeats talking points, okay? So that's kind of what she does. And she married a man who, from what I've heard, is the, is not a nice person at all. And he doesn't quite know what he's doing either. Listen, you don't have to plagiarize when you're good at what you're doing, all right? So these two people tried to destroy Tara Setmayer's career. They tried to. And I don't think that Tara has truly shared with the public everything that these two people tried to do and how they tried to secretly poison her reputation in the GOP. Listen, Tara Setmayer is actually consulted by real leaders in the party about her opinion on things. She is sought after by people in true le- uh, positions of leadership on both sides of the aisle. Meg McCain is just a girl on TV who's flapping her gums uh, and who's showing her tight 
Botoxed face and filler filled lips. Okay. And she has the McCain last name. That's all that Megan is doing. All right. Megan couldn't stand up in a debate against Tara Set Mayor, Anna Navarro, or any other true conservative who has the heart and the ear of young people uh, or anybody else in the party for that matter. Okay. So they tried to destroy this lady. And I don't think until Tara writes her first book that she is going to be able to share what these two people actually tried to do to her. Well, because Megan went and she threatened that, you know, just like she tried to threaten with uh, Anna and all these other people that she uh, tried to keep from being on this show, she was successful uh, with Tara. She was successful and they have not brought Tara back. I'm hoping they will after what happened last week on the show, uh, but we'll just have to see. We'll have to see if they were to, uh, you know, ask Tara to come back and guest co-host, would she? Because it's not just that Megan was able to get away with that kind of crap. It was that the executives allowed her to get away with that kind of crap. But the main person, Barbara Fadita, who didn't like black people anyway, she's gone. So I think Megan doesn't have that cushion anymore, being able to go complain and threaten that she was uncomfortable with certain people coming on the show. And so if they came, she just would not come to work or she wouldn't participate or whatever other types of threats that she made. So a lot of you guys remember one of Tara's infamous, and I'm talking about fire uh, appearances on the show came in July on July 13th of 2018, when Tara was sharing on the show her views about the Trump administration, where the Republican Party was headed if they continued to stand by this guy, and she called those who followed Trump. Uh, without thinking, without, you know, looking at the facts, she said that they were kind of sort of in a cult. I don't, right. Who's left to, to talk to? Who's left for right. his supporters yeah. to believe? Him. No. Besides what's him. That, it's crazy. a cult that way. But That's what I said that before. Please stop saying that. Please no, stop I'm not going to stop saying that. Because, because when people, people want to Let me explain. It's why I say that. This is the last time I did. It's so reductive to people like me. It's not. It's not everyone. But there's a large group of people who blindly follow what this man says that don't think for themselves. Where he actually can get away with saying things on tape. And talking about the same thing. Are you a Trump supporter? No, I, never I, heard I that. defend his supporters because oh. I understand it. Like I said yesterday with the book that I asked everyone to read, and I think yeah. when you're putting a giant swath of people that everybody's been brainwashed and we're all in a cult, I didn't vote for I mean, Trump for personal one. reasons. You said it last time you were on the show. Yes. And again, I and do I think there's some... Well, just last week, guess who said that the Trump supporters were in a cult? Well, I will just tell you, I'm not going to tell you what I'm doing behind the scenes, but I am requesting that she issue a formal apology because... Because she almost single-handedly, well, along with her husband, they tried to ruin Tara Setmayer's career. And now here it is two years later, you just woke up to seeing what every most of most true conservatives like Tara, like Anna, like others have been seeing and saying for the last four years. But you didn't see it. You didn't think it was real until these crazy people, okay, these domestic terrorists actually stormed the Capitol and actually had nooses and zip ties ready to kidnap and execute <laughs> a lot of these people. That's, that's what it took for you to see it. Thank you guys so much for tuning into the podcast. Have a fabulous day.